Good morning, dear children. I hope you all are keeping well and completing your work on time. So today in English, we are going to start with a new chapter from semester two book. That is lesson one, honey bees. So children, can you tell how are animals useful to us? Yes, animals give us many things. They do a lot for us to make our life better. So can you see in the picture what all things we get from animals? So children, do you know we get eggs from hens and ducks? We get milk from cows, goats, buffaloes and camels. We get wool from sheep and we get honey from honeybee. So children, have you seen how many different things we get from animals. So, animals are our friends. Therefore, we should be nice to them. We should not hurt or irritate animals. And children, do you know, during Diwali, so many animals were hurt due to the firecrackers. So, children, we should treat animals with kindness. So, children, do you like to have honey on your bread? And have you wondered where this honey comes from? Yes, honey is made by bees. So come, let us read and find out more about bees. So we are starting from page number 8. A very old rock painting shows honey being taken out of a hive of wild bees. Thus, man has known honey bees for thousands of years. Children, can you see the pictures which was made on rocks thousands of years ago? Yes, from these paintings we came to know how honey was taken out of a hive of wild bees. Now what do you mean by hive? Hive is a place where bees live in. Like you live in a house and honey bees live in hives. Now page number 9. A hive is a large colony of bees. There may be up to 60,000 bees in a hive. Bees make their hives in the open, hanging their combs from the branches of trees. So children, a group of bees is called colony of bees. And how many bees can be there in a hive? There can be up to 60,000 bees which is a large number and the bees make their hives in the open hanging their combs from the branches of trees what do you mean by combs so can you see in the second picture a group of wax cells which has six sides and honey bees make this to hold their honey and their eggs now next paragraphs hives may also be man made the man who looks after bees in a man-made hive is called the beekeeper. The group of hives he looks after is called an apiary. So children, two types of hives are made. One the bees make by themselves and one is man-made which is made by man. So can you see in the picture? Yes, this is a man-made Hive. So the man who looks after bees in a man-made hive is called a beekeeper. And the group of hives he looks after is called an apiary. Next paragraph. Every beehive has one queen bee. She is slightly larger than a worker bee. The queen bee's only job is to lay eggs. She is fed by the worker bees and hardly ever leaves the hive. When the queen becomes old or weak, a new queen takes her place. So children, total there are three types of bees that are present in a beehive. First one is a queen bee. Second one is a worker bee. And the third one is a male bee or we can say drone. So these queen bees are slightly larger than a worker bee and the only job 
what they do in the hive is to lay eggs and whatever she needs to eat that is given by the worker bee and when these queen become old or weak a new queen takes her place next paragraph there are only a few males in the hive male bees are called drones they are a little larger than the worker bees most of the bees in the hive are worker bees these bees work all day they make the hive and look after the baby bees they fly around flowers in search of nectar they collect nectar from flowers for honey now you can see in the picture children there is a queen bee a worker bee and a male bee drone so a queen bee is larger in size than the worker bee and the drone and you can also see that these drones are little larger than the worker bees so children the worker bees work all day they look after the baby bees and they make the hive also they fly around flowers in search of nectar and what do you mean by nectar the sweet liquid that is produced by flowers with the help of nectar only these honey bees make honey so can you understand how hard work these bees do yes to make honey now next paragraph when one bee finds flowers with nectar it does a special kind of dance which tells the other bees can know where the nectar is the worker bees are very important for the hive without the worker bees there would neither be hive nor any nectar collection all bees in the hive would go hungry so children when a bee find flowers with nectar it does a special kind of dance so that the other bees can see and find yes the nectar is on this flower and come and suck the nectar so which is the most important bee for the hive they are the worker bees because without worker bees there would neither be an any hive or any nectar collection so children i hope you have understood the chapter now what you have to do is you have to read the chapter properly